effort. One man is now under arrest allegedly for raping a woman on Miami Beach, and we are learning new details about the suspect's background. Local 10's Bridget Matter is joining us live from Miami Beach with the latest. Bridget. We're learning this is not the first time that this man has been arrested for sex crimes. According to police, he is a registered sex offender. Now he's accused of raping a woman in Miami Beach. This is a new mugshot for 31 year old Keith Hill Jr. accused of violently raping a woman in Miami Beach. The brutal attack happened early Tuesday morning when investigators say the woman was rollerblading along the popular Miami Beach beach walk. Hill is accused of sneaking up behind the woman and pulling her into the bushes. Police say cameras captured what happened, which gave detectives a lead on their suspect, issuing a be on the lookout flyer to all local agencies. Sunny Isles officers recognized Hill from an encounter at a local park one day before the sexual battery. Days later, officers in Hollywood spotted Hill at a beach. He was attending the beach and one of their uh, beach patrol officers observed him from the uh, flyer that we disseminated. According to Miami Beach Police, he's cooperating with their investigation. He's currently booked in the Broward County Jail on unrelated charges of a failure to register as a sex offender violation and providing a false ID charge. Soon he'll be taken to a jail in Dade County. As we're speaking, um, our investigators are uh, working with our partners at the Miami Dade State Attorney's Office to secure an arrest warrant. Once the arrest warrant um, is prepared and signed by a judge, we'll be able to extradite the offender from the Broward County Jail to Miami-Dade County. We checked into his background and found he's listed as a sex offender in Illinois. The woman who survived this attack, she will not be identified because she's protected by law. Police do say they're providing her with services to aid in her recovery. We're live in Miami Beach. Bridget Matter, Local 10 News.